So here in part three, we will cover the, rem the final layer of the Rubik's Cube, the top layer. And, as, and if you hear, I was just moving a pillow. So, in part two, we covered the middle row. Now we'll cover the top row. So, and you'll have four basic configurations. You either have this, you'll leave it, either have a dot, an L, a line, or a cross. I'll show you what all those look like. So here's a line. Sorry, I was just moving a light here. There's the cross. L. Cross again. There's the dot. Sorry. So, and yes, my little partner Ramhorn is watching me do the re do the video review. So. There he is. <laughs> He's helping me do their video. Yeah. Don't pay attention to Ramhorn. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the Rubik's Cube. Um, how to get from here to the cross is very easy. You have to do this algorithm. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And that should give you this L right here. So, going from here to, let's go to the line first. F. There's where we started. And one more to go to the cross. All right, now, oh, now comes the tricky part, edge pairing on the top row. As you can tell, only two fourths or one half of my edge groups lined up correctly. White and red, orange and yellow are flipped. What you need to do, this is the only really major algorithm you need to know for this. And it goes like this. Hold it in the front and do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, two U, R prime, U. And that will flip these around and you should Keep these two solved. But this is the sec. Here we are in the second to last frame, solving the corners. So, let's see. And again, another really mate. Another thing. You need to note is not all of these will be in the correct spot. But there is a way to fix that. I'll take this piece. I'll actually take this piece. And the algorithm goes like this. 
L prime U R U prime L U R prime U prime. And do we have any in the right place? One right here. Hold it in the front like and hold the one that is correctly placed in in the upper right of your three by three grid and do L prime U R U prime L U R prime U prime. That should solve it. Finally, you want to twist these two remaining quarter, any of the remaining quarters into place, which is very easy. So that concludes the tutorial.